Hey guys, you might notice something a little bit different here at the shop today. That's right, this is the 1944 Custom Coupe that we've been building over the past year and it's sitting on the ground on its own wheels. Pretty cool, eh? Let's cue the M40C's two minute build montage showing our journey over the past year. It's usually at this point with a ground up build such as this, I like to take a stand back and take another look at it and make sure we're on the right track. It's one thing to see a picture or a drawing, it's another thing to take a step back and make sure that all the lines are working on the car. Now you guys are about six feet away, uh, it's not quite enough to see the whole car. If we move a few things around in the shop, you might get to be about nine feet away, still not good enough. So perhaps we can do something that'll help that out. Welcome to Envision Prototypes, I'm Nick. guys when I got her outside nothing fell off but I have to say that boy she's loud with the open headers just under the dash it really gets a hard thumping and eardrums ringing but no brakes haven't finished that yet but uh, drive shaft electrical systems all that has been addressed so I'm about 50 feet back right now the sun's peeking through the clouds and it's just hitting those highlights and it has a nice stance my goal is to get her outside and have a look at her and really want to share this with you guys too. A little lower in the front, back up in the air a bit. And I think overall we can drop the whole thing down another inch or so. We have the room. Now, some of the flanges haven't been finished. That's why the gaps are a little excessive at this point, but that wasn't my goal. I wanted to make sure that we got the shape right. If the shape is right, we can finish the rest. It looks like it's been chopped, but it's not. 
and uh, just wait till we get the rear well the windows in on the side with that rear power window it's gonna look sweet now that big hole there in the front where the grill is that'll get filled in later uh, right now we're concerned about the exterior panels making sure everything works and then we've got the uh, standard and deluxe incorporated together just to give it that extra width like this thing is wide the old fours were a bit narrower I think it's 56 inches and the Mustang is a 60 inch track in the front the one headlight is a bit oblong I had to make an adjustment in the panel they are smaller than what they should be for a reason to give us room to fit the final headlights later on check out that roof it came out really really well those two side pieces blending in perfectly to the top crown area you can see the telltale signs of the seam through here so a little more work before that's done and I'm really glad we went with this with this feature here it gives us a nice accent over the door get the hard top style no post see the roof line comes down really well into the back area the reverse curve came out nice we'll incorporate the taillights and the gas door into there this is the stage where we want to make sure that everything's right because if we have to move a few things around it's not too late trunk lid just tacked on for now you hear the metal expanding in the sun check out the reflections of the rear fenders that is beautiful yeah we're, we will probably drop another inch See, because the flanges haven't been rolled over I mentioned it before these doors can't close all the way so once we get all that done it'll all be good a little bit of a buckle right there in the front just trying to get things to sit properly without being completed it's pretty challenging but I do like to bring them out at this stage to make sure everything works I want to see if we nailed the shape of the car you can see the inner roof structure is uh, kind of hanging down that's only because we haven't finished all that stuff yet the eight pillars all lined up on both sides got the screws in there but the center needs to be fine-tuned yet so what do you guys think let us know put it down in the comments good bad too wide too low I'm going way back again just to get another look at her this is when you can tell if things are right when you step back a few little things I'm seeing we have to touch up those integrated rockers I think that came out really well Running boards have a time and place. Well, when you're doing something custom, try to minimize them. I don't know why, but people love to jump on them at shows. Just get up on top and... So anyway, you're probably gonna ask me what the next step is. Well, we get it back in the shop, that's the first thing. Take, blow off all the uh, exterior panels, and then pull the engine out, transmission, drivetrain, all that stuff, take it out get the chassis up on a rotisserie and then we're going to detail the underside finish all the welding finish all the grinding all that stuff paint it undercoat it and then once all that's finished and said and done and over with we get the exterior panels mounted back on and as we're mounting them we're going to be fine tuning them to that structure so we still have to finish all that welding there get all that done and we get them all the flanges made all the bolt locations fastener mounts all that done and get her assembled we're only at about 40 percent with this build here still a lot of work ahead of us but this is a huge milestone I'm sure the interior or <laughs> the lack of the interior there's still a lot of stuff going on I have a couple temporary braces just holding things in place there's our rear deck that we turned around we still have to build door panels customize the dash in other words build a whole new dash it's can't have the plastic top and yeah so 
I hope you guys enjoy this little excursion outside. I know I did. But we're going to get her back inside and keep going. Let me know in the comments, guys. Did we hit the mark? I appreciate that a lot. Because this is the stage where we do make the adjustments. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little 1944 coupe special. The 40th episode for 40 Ford.